Wilson and his Prey Princess 5. Um, yesterday I had the most horrible experience ever, and it really made me realize how valuable life is. Um, my best friend, he, he is so weak right now, and he wants to kill himself, and it's not weak as in muscle, it's weak because he hates himself, and, um, I have decided that I am a Christian, and people will laugh at me, but I really need something to believe in, and yesterday was the time where I needed God to show himself to Callum, and it can, I couldn't stop crying, he wanted to kill himself, he said he wasn't worth it, he said all these horrible things about himself, and that he's not good enough, and God hates him, and it's like, that day we had a conversation with Jamie at the church, saying how God loves every single one of us, and it was just that time when, he, it was like the timing was literally perfect, how he finally broke down into tears, and I was part of that because I wanted to be with him, and he didn't, but I accepted that he wanted to stay friends with me. But it's the fact that, what well, I cannot accept, it's the fact that people will take, um, just like, saying, go out there, go out there, pressuring him, and that's what I didn't like. And so, I think this made him crack, and literally crumbled all around him, and it felt like his life was crumbling, and everything was going wrong. But, fact is, when you see someone in that kind of state, you think to yourself, I always say that I'm depressed, I always say it, I say that I'm upset, I hate people, I want to die. And then looking at that and seeing, oh my god, this is what other people see when I do that, and I don't want to do that ever again, I'm never watching football ever again, because that will bring back bad memories. I really want Cam to be okay, and I really hope that Lord, the Lord heard our prayers. We prayed so much, me and my friend Georgia and Kira, and... We just wanted everything to go right, and we just hope that God showed us his strength. And now it's getting to the point where I'm thinking to myself, what the hell are we doing? We live in a society where we hate our lives, and we don't see what's valuable in them. And yet, seeing this... Hi, Georgia. Hi. Um, seeing this happen... It makes you think to yourself, oh my god, life is valuable, and life shouldn't be treated like nothing. It is something amazing, and you have to grasp it. Every opportunity you get, you grasp that opportunity, because you might never, you never know. That opportunity can never happen again. I'm getting the opportunity to rebuild friendships with people, and that's an opportunity where, which I should never pass on. Um, my friend, she's having a baby. And it's an opportunity that she probably will not never ever have again because she's not able to have kids. And this is something that God has given her. And I'm not doing the whole preaching thing. I don't want you to convert just because of what I'm saying. It's what I'm thinking and this is what I believe in. Um, and my dad always says everything is, isn't a choice. It all comes down to fate. It happens because um, it's supposed to. And I believe that, and I believe that yesterday was the time where Cam was supposed to break down, and Jamie was supposed to have that talk, it was the perfect moment, and we just all hope that everything is going to be okay, we always hope that, and you can't always think positively, because if you think too positively, you'll get your hopes up, and then if something bad happens, you crumble as well, so I'm trying to keep positive, but also at the same time, I'm trying to get rid of the negatives but also keep them in mind because you cannot live your life just thinking yeah everything's going to be perfect everything's fine um people will help me i'm always going to have these people around me because they will eventually leave they will get fed up of what you're doing because you always believe that someone is protecting you and you're supposed to do it but people will leave and it's like friends come and go family are forever but true friends will stick by you and give you the freedom you need but with my friend, he doesn't seem like, he thinks that everyone hates him, he feels like he's, everyone wants to kill him, and he is such a brave boy, he wants to join the Marines, he wants to be like his dad, and that is such an amazing thing, it's something he should be proud of, but it's the fact that he's now suffering because of all this pressure that he's getting put onto him, he, he wants to be like his father, and therefore he has to try and live up to his standards, and 
that's not right. Colin is an amazing guy, and he wants be what's best for his son, and like any parent would, really. But it's really difficult to see someone go through that and say they're not loved when they quite clearly are, or especially when they've got someone there who really does like them. And like me, I, I would have happily been with him. But it's the fact now, I looked at him yesterday and like, he can't speak to girls, he can't tell about feelings, and he gets very depressed. And I wouldn't be able to cope with that if we and him had an argument. I would cry, I'd break down, and I'd think it would, it would be my fault. And you can't live your life like that. It's not right, and you shouldn't live life with regret. But if I went out with him and that happened, I would regret everything because I wouldn't want that to happen. And I'd believe it's my fault. But yesterday it opened my eyes to what I wanted and I just wanted friendship and my heart is just stupid because it was in love and now it just wants someone there. I'm not on the rebound or anything. It's the fact that I miss having someone there beside me. I miss being able to love someone. I miss everything. And it was like yesterday I was with you and it was, wasn't was awkward at all. We're really good friends now and we've past the point where we're like oh for each other but it kind of came to my me that maybe i'm not 100 percent over him i keep saying i am but i'm actually not i'm just covering up my feelings because i want to forget but hugging him made me realize that is someone i really would like to be with but i know we can't so i'm accepting that and it's really easy to accept but some people just don't really understand really but and if you know anyone who wanted to like hurt themselves or end their life and if you could give advice of how you dealt with it and talk them out of it or if, in fact if you've been through that stage yourself it's like I've been through that stage we've all been through that stage I think you've been through that stage? yes yeah yeah everyone has been through it and it's understandable because of pressure and especially at our ages where we're teenagers and we're growing up we don't we experience the outside life and we're learning new things and we we are kids that hate learning new things we just creep out at, at everything we just freak we like our boxes we like boxes they're very square and boring <laughs> so if you've ever been through that i'm sorry if this is a really long rant and it's gone over many subjects but all these subjects actually um come from one and they all link up with each other from what you want and what you don't and your fears and the pride, everything. They all link together in some what way. That made no sense, but oh well. Um, it's like, I don't, I believe, well right now I really want to believe that there is a God who wants to help everyone and loves everyone. And if he does exist, then he will show Callum this because... He's an amazing guy and he should be loved and God does love him. He just needs to, sh God just needs to show him. So that's the end of my video. Um, sorry if it was too long and you got bored. If, if you're still watching this right now, then you've got a heart. So see you later.